Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the A6 Cumulus 23. The A6 Cumulus is the textbook definition of a daily trainer. It's always been a multi-purpose shoe that can handle any type of run you can throw at it. And that's why it's been so popular for over two decades. Now the Cumulus is unique in that other mid-price daily trainers like the Pegasus 880, Saucony Ride and Hoka Clifton receive upper only updates every other year but the Cumulus receives a brand new upper, midsole and outsole every year. So what's new with the Cumulus 23? It has a softer upper, 3D space construction zones in the midsole and a full length bottom layer of flight foam. It now weighs 280 grams, which is 16 grams more than the Cumulus 22, but it maintains its drop of 10 millimeters and its competitive price of 120 US dollars. When I held it in hand for the first time, the upper felt noticeably better than the previous version. Softer and more premium. And while walking around in it, I could feel the layer directly underfoot was more spongy than the Cumulus 22. My first run was a 10 km steady paced run with some faster paced pickups. And I was surprised with how well it performed when I increased the pace. Even at tempo speeds of 4 minutes 25 seconds per kilometer, the Cumulus 23 didn't feel like it was out of its comfort zone. One thing that I noticed was that I could feel the forefoot rubber lugs through the midsole. And that's because the midsole is much softer than the outsole rubber. But after that first impressive 10 kilometer run, I was really excited to test the Cumulus 23 on a variety of runs and paces. The flight foam midsole of the Cumulus 23 is softer, livelier and more versatile than the flight foam midsoles from say three or four years ago. And the high versatility of the Cumulus 23 means that it can handle easy runs, recovery runs, steady paced runs and even long distances of over 40 kilometers. This bottom layer of flight foam is now one continuous single piece of foam, so ride transitions feel smoother. And the firmer wedge of flight foam has been moved closer to the foot and it now sits above the gel pocket. Now when I tested the Nimbus 23 on longer runs, I felt foot fatigue because of how soft and spongy the midsole is. But the Cumulus 23 has just the right amount of cushioning to feel efficient on long runs. The Cumulus 23 now has 3D space construction, which are these small hexagonal-like honeycomb shapes that are etched onto the top layer of the midsole. And what these hexagonal shapes do is they act like pillars to allow the midsole foam to compress more in these zones. And this gives the Cumulus 23 a softer ride. The grooves on the outsole have been made wider and deeper than the previous version. So the forefoot is now more flexible. There are two types of rubber used on the outsole. AHAR Plus on the heel and AHAR on the forefoot. The densities of the rubbers on the Cumulus 23 are higher than the Nimbus 23. So this leads to firmer landings but increased durability. I've noticed less wear on the Cumulus 23 than the Nimbus 23 after the same mileage. So I've been very happy with durability. I tested the traction during a long run where it poured heavily for three hours straight and traction was still fantastic. The upper of the Cumulus 23 is a really well-designed upper with enough padding in all the right places to make it comfortable and effective. The tongue is not gusseted like on the Nimbus 23, but it still stays in place during runs and I experienced no tongue slide. 
The heel tab and the collar are also generously padded and they do a great job of keeping your foot locked in place. I didn't even have to do heel lock lacing. The one downside about this upper is that with all this padding, it absorbs a lot of moisture. So when I ran in the rain, both shoes picked up a ton of weight. The fit of the Cumulus 23 is true to size and there's plenty of space in the midfoot and the forefoot. These days, you get daily trainers with carbon plates and super foam midsoles. The ASICS Cumulus 23 has neither, but it still doesn't feel like a boring shoe. You don't have to worry about durability or fit issues with the Cumulus 23, or about there being not enough cushioning or too much. The Cumulus 23 has the right amount of everything. I enjoyed the Cumulus 23 most on middle distances at steady or easy paces. If I only had one running shoe and it was the Cumulus 23, I'd be really happy with it because it can handle a variety of different distances and paces with ease. If you're a loyal fan of the ASICS Cumulus and you buy it every year, you will love the Cumulus 23. Thanks for watching the review right until the end. Please do us a favor and like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.